Hello friends, welcome to the video series in PL SQL Programming in Oracle. Now before we start the series, at first we have to know what is the meaning of DBMS, Database Management System. So what is data? Data is a collection of a distinct small unit of information. It can be used in a variety of forms like text, numbers, media, bytes, etc. It can be stored in pieces of paper or electronic memory, etc. What data is originated from the word datum? That means single piece of information. It is plural of the word datum. In computing, data is information that can be translated into a form for efficient movement and processing. Data is interchangeable. Now, what is database? A database is an organized collection of data so that it can be easily assessed and managed. You can organize data into tables, rows, columns, and index it to make it easier to find relevant information. Database handlers create a database in such a way that only one set of software program provides access of data to all the users. The main purpose of the database is to operate a large amount of information by storing, retrieving and managing data. There are many dynamic websites on the world wide web nowadays which are handled through databases. For example, a model that checks the availability of rooms in a hotel. It is an example of a dynamic website that uses a database. There are many databases available like MySQL, Sybase, Oracle, MongoDB, Informix, PostgreSQL, SQL Server, etc. The modern databases are managed by the database management system in short that is called as DBMS. What is the pictorial representation of the database? A cylindrical structure is used to display the image of a database. The black picture is practically the pictorial representation of the database and the orange colored picture is the representation of the SQL logo. So, what is a database? Data is integrated collection of related information along with the details so that it is available to the several user for the different application. Suppose here is a database named as student and it contains an entity, the table name known as the computer underscore science. Then the column or field or the attributes are here the roll number, name, address or the fees. And the row or record or tuple are the per row represented here such as roll number 1 for the name Shumon, address Kolkata and fees 10,000. And that completely gives us the conception of a database. So, what is a table or entity? Table is the structure in the database that contains data organized in rows and columns. Such as here, the table name is the student. So, what is the column or field or feature or the attribute? The name of each column in a table is used to interpret its meaning and is called an attribute. Here the field names are student underscore id, the name, roll underscore number. So what is row or record or tuple? Each row in a table represents a record and called it tuple. Such as here the four records are present in the table. So what is DBMS? Database management system is the software system which allows the access to the data in the database. 
here we have a database named as student with the table name computer underscore science and there are the users so the dbms falls in between the database and the users as a middle object that means through the dbms users can interact with the database examples dbs microsoft access fox pro lever of his base etc so what is rdbms rdbms means the relational database management system avoided the navigation model as in dbms and introduced the relational model the relational model has relationship between the tables using primary keys foreign keys and indexes thus the fetching and storing of data become faster than the old dbms navigational model rdbms is useful to efficiently manage vast amount of data and is used in large applications related with huge data examples sql server mysql mariadb sql lite etc so what is sql the structured query language it is commonly used with all relational database for data definition and manipulation so what are the features of sql it is a non procedural language it is an english like language it can process a single record as well as set of records at a time all sql statement define what is to be done rather than how it is to be done sql has facilities for defining database views security transaction etc once again so what is sql the structured query language as we all know is the database language by the use of which we can perform certain operations on the existing database and also we can use this language to create a database sql uses certain commands like create drop insert etc to carry out the required task these sql commands are mainly categorized into four categories as ddl the data definition language dql the data query language dml the data manipulation language dcl the data control language though many resources claim there to be another category of sql clauses that is called the tcl transaction control language in the next video we would discuss more about what is sql